So in this video, I want to talk about the power of masculinity, why you should be growing it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing a couple ways that you can grow it and develop it. Now, before I do, make sure to like, subscribe and share and put a comment in the video. I really appreciate it. Now let's dive in. First off, masculinity is not toxic. It gets stuff done. It's protective. It goes out and gets the food. It goes to the hunt. It goes steps into tension. It makes things happen. We wouldn't have the big cities and all the stuff we have today without masculine men. Masculine men go out and step into the wild and make stuff happen. So think about a village or a tribe in primitive times. That tribe had, would go into an area and they would make it safe. The men would make it safe and, and get it all ready. Then the women would come fill it up with, uh, with, with love and nurturing and, and food and sustenance to grow people. So that's the safe spot. And the men would go out into the wild to find more food, to uh, bring back the stuff they need to bring back. They go into the tension and make things happen. So you think about this in relationship to women today. Why do they love firemen so much? Because firemen represent this. They run into a burning building to save lives. It's the heroic effort of saving lives. It's selfless. And there's a little bit of vulnerability in that in the sense that they really care about people, or that's the perception at least, as they run into the burning building to save lives. So women really get turned on by this. Why do women get turned on by this? Because it's programmed into their DNA from years ago from th that village or that tribe. Think about that village and tribe. You know, the women were protected by the men. That's why they provided so much value and nurtured the men so the men could keep going out and doing this. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for these strong, powerful men. Now, this doesn't mean you have to have big muscles or anything. It's more an attitude or a way you talk. So I firmly believe that toxic masculinity is not masculinity. It's a is some type of perversion of an energy. Because ma real masculinity is healthy, it grows, it nurtures, it protects, it provides. Just like you could say there's toxic femininity and, and then healthy femininity. But I would say there's not toxic femininity either. It's just femininity and masculinity. And, and, and a healthy version, they naturally express themselves. And so before I move on, I wanna invite you to check out my ebook, The Art of Fearless Seduction, if you wanna learn more about this stuff. Now let's dive in a little deeper. What are a couple ways you can grow your masculinity? Well, one is step into tension. Step into tension in all its forms and learn to enjoy it. Find tension you can have fun with. Maybe it's martial arts, maybe it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, maybe it's uh, building a business, maybe it's uh, boxing, maybe it's approaching women. There's so many ways you can step into tension. Notice where the tension is high for you and go deal with it. That's how you grow your masculinity. Now, number two, what's the second thing you can do? Get around like-minded people. Find other masculine men that are positive, that are growing themselves, that have a healthy masculinity and hang out with them. Spend a lot of time with them. Go out with them. Like my buddy who loves to go in the woods hunting. I'd go hiking with him while he carried an 80 pound pack on his back practicing for his hunts. You know, when he kills an elk, he wants to be able to bring back the elk meat. So he has to carry it in the pack. That's powerful when you think about it. And so the more you hang around with these types of guys, these types of men, and you get groups of men like this, that are actually probably a little farther along than you in some sense. And some that you're maybe mentoring a little bit and growing with, the more you're going to grow naturally. It's a process of give and take. Okay. So with that said, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. I love those comments. We learn a lot from them. And with that said, remember only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.